individual soul liberty is a gift from God. And it is protected by our Constitution of the United States of America. Liberty was given when the Lord Jesus Christ in the Garden of Eden formed man out of the dust of the earth and put him in the garden. The Bible says, and in that garden, out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also is in the midst of the garden and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. You see, it was there that God ensured man's individual soul liberty. God gave man a choice, whether they were going to worship God and trust and believe Him, or whether they were going to go their own way. This is a right that every human being has, individual soul liberty. It is protected by our Constitution, and our freedom to assemble is protected by our Constitution. We are able to gather as we please and assemble as we please as God's people to live out this liberty that God has given to us. I hold in my hands a part of the Constitution of the United States of America where I read in the First Amendment where Congress, where it says that Congress shall make no law respecting any establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peaceably to assemble and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. You see, our Constitution recognizes the free gift that God has given to us in individual soul liberty. I'm grateful that this Sunday we are able to assemble together in a drive-in service safely and a symbol, but using the wisdom that's been given to us. I'm grateful that we live in a state and in a nation that supports what we're doing. I am even further satisfied that our county and our state have gone the extra mile to ensure that its citizens know that we have the right to assemble. They've given us wisdom not to meet in groups of 10 or more, and we've ad adhered to that. And we will continue to adhere to that until they believe it to be safe. Because the scripture teaches us that with the well advised, with the well advised is wisdom. And we want to follow those things. I'd like to encourage you to join me at 9.30 a.m. Easter Sunday morning for a special drive-in service. It will be safe. You'll remain in your car with your windows up and we'll assemble, but yet will do it under the wisdom and the guidance that has been given to us. Please join us at 1800 West Highway 190. That's Northside Baptist Church, right off of Interstate 14 at the Nola Ruth exit. You cannot miss us. We hope to see you there at 930. If you're unable to join us at 930, I would like to encourage you to join us for a live streaming service at 11 o'clock and 6 o'clock on Easter Sunday. However you choose to worship the Lord that day, I want to encourage you to be faithful to worship God on Easter Sunday as we celebrate the resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Until we meet again, may the Lord bless you.